Hello well, fellow people and um, today I'll be talking about some Transformers reveals that have been revealed today. So I'm um, starting off with the kind of the least interesting one. We have a Top Gun crossover figure. And I say least interesting because this figure was already released. And I heard that the figure wasn't, wasn't good. And this figure has been altered quite a, a bit. It has a darker camouflage coloring. And they also altered the packaging, because, um, that. That's it. That's all I could think of. <laughs> and then we have, and then we have Thundercracker. And, um, this figure doesn't actually look bad, but at the same, same time, it does. It's a, pretty much a redugo of Coronation Starscream without some of the accessories. And there we have them shooting at something. Also, I like how they added a singed effect to the mole rays. That's pretty cool. And then we have the packaging. And gosh dang it, this is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> and you can see the that's all of the accessories he has. The mole rays and, and the blast effects. Then we have Prime... Transformers Prime, Optimus Prime. That's ah, great, I'm just gonna call it Prime Universe. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this figure doesn't look bad. Though it, for some reason, reminds me of those, those cheap Transformers statues that I, w that I always found in Walmart. Um, not sure why. It just does. Also, he comes with a Matrix, which has been mishapped. Also, that face is just off. It looks off. I... I wish they... <laughs> why? Why did they give him that face? That looks off. And you can see that a lot of the accessories are silver. Neat. Then we have Megatron. And, yeah. This figure doesn't look bad. At all. This looks better. He comes with... A dark spark... A dark <laughs> energon aura. That's pretty cool. And yeah, there's not much to talk about. And the packaging. That looks really cool. Also, you can see that that's all the accessories he comes with. As well as a large bluish effect. Then we have Slicer. Now, this is where the more interesting ones come in. This figure actually doesn't look bad. He comes with two guns. And there you have his alt mode. I really like the coloring of this figure. It just looks good. As well as the alt mode. And yeah. So you can well, you can see that he has a Decepticon symbol. This is interesting. And this is from the Shattered Glass toy line. This is getting more interesting. Also you can see that he still comes with that pea shooter. And he comes with a weaponizer. And there's a spear. So this figure is supposed to be is supposed to be a replacement spear for Black Xerox spear. Huh. So um yeah. This is probably the more interesting figures. Probably due to the accessories. But other than that, this figure doesn't look bad. And then we have this gimmick. I love it. So, um, yeah. There's not much else to talk about. And just like the other toy lines, this figure has windowless packaging. And you can see that he that the that the other figure's suit is exosuit. Isn't that isn't that interesting? So, um, yeah. Also, here we have the weapons. They're Transparent or translucent or transparent. So um yeah. Now then, on to the the Velocitron figures. So um yeah. There's a lot of there's a lot of images on them. And then we have Blur. So um I've already talked about Blur. He's he's pretty interesting. And the packaging. It's like the Voyager, but smaller. 
and you can see that it just says blur. Interesting. I assume that it's because of IDW not being able to make the Transformers comics anymore after this year. So um, I think that's the reason. Anyways, then we have this figure. It is Burnout, which is a redeco of Skids. Now, I already have Skids. He's a pretty, he's a good figure. Though I'm not really going to get this figure as well. So they have given her a different head, and they've made it in something else. They've painted in some detailing, like the shoulders, and finally, tail lights. My own, that was literally one of my complaints. This that they didn't paint in the, in the tail lights in the legacy figure. And the vehicle mode isn't bad, and they didn't really alter the weapon. Also, my only question, my only question is, who is actually this insane to hold a an axe like that? Not really who. Then we have Road Rocket, and this is a redeco of RC, and this actually looks good. Also, the head looks similar to Nightbirds, and it's pretty cool how they painted in the black shuriken in the middle, as if it can be used as a as if the it could be used as a shuriken with a permanent effect. That's pretty cool. Old mode on the other hand. I'm not really a fan of how they didn't remove this section of the vehicle mode. Kinda wish they did, so it stands out more. And it shows what universe they're in. Red Rocket is G2 and Burnout and Cloud Town are the Dio Clone universe. So I'm uh, moving on with Clampdown. Redeco of Freilert, I like it. And this is the Kingdom figure. As in the Kingdom Red Alert. So it has the Earth mode. Probably one of the only times I wish they used the Earth mode. But still, this is pretty good. And I really like the Alt mode to be honest. Even if it even if they didn't paint this part. So um, yeah, moving on with probably my favorite reveals, and it's Cosmos. Yeah, I really like this figure, and it's really adorable with the winning flag he comes with. So um, yeah, there's not much else to talk about, I just really love this figure. And apparently it's a new mold, instead of a retool or a remold. So um, yeah, and there's something you can do with the gun. And yeah, it's pretty funny. Not only can he use it as a winning flag, he could also he could also surrender. And he could also use it as a gun. So um, yeah, that's pretty funny. And I've already talked about Road Holler and Over Override. I'm still not I'm still I still don't like how they use that face. It's just questionable. And yeah, then we have Scourge. I've already talked about Scourge. And they did alter it quite a bit. That being the Matrix. Because in the original, it showed that only the core was unpainted. Now it's just the... Ack. Now it's just this piece. The entire thing is painted. <laughs> now then, the packaging is obvious. It's pretty much like the other two. But with some alterations, like the, there's no window. Anyways, it also shows that this figure is from the Robots in Disguise 2000 universe. Also, I find it funny how they, he comes with, yes. I find it funny how there's fire coming out of the smokestacks. I feel like that's supposed to be a nod at the Rise of the Beasts description of Scourge. I don't know why they did that, but still, that's pretty funny. And here we have a size comparison between the Generations Cosmos and the Generations Legacy Cosmos. Yeah, this figure is actually more bigger than I expected. And holy frick, this figure's head is bigger than, is almost the same size as the torso. Holy frick. Holy frick. That's all I have to say. This thing is massive. 
And yeah, this is it for this video. And apparently there's gonna be another event tomorrow. So I'm yeah, I'm gonna do a video on that as well. So um, this is it for this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.